Hey guys, welcome back to Dr. Soybean's Let's Play of Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure Part 8. Uh, we're heading into the final stretch of the game here. Running off to confront uh, Demon King Piccolo, who's taken over the world capital. So we see that Tien has uh, tried to stop them and failed. In the anime here, uh, Goku basically flies in and shatters Drum's skull with one kick. But in the game, we're going to get a fight out of him. He's actually pretty easy. But he's a warm-up for Piccolo, who along with Tien is easily uh, among the hardest battles in the game. But first we gotta take out Drum, and then we get one more uh, kind of side-scrolling beat-em-up area before we head into the final battle. And Drum is not very difficult at all, he just teleports around a lot. He does that one electrical attack, but it's pretty easy to avoid. He's actually a hell of a lot easier than Tambourine. Nice. Always like to get in one Kamehameha. And just like that, he's dead. And we get our last... Uh, Beat him up area with some new villains. Basically, clones of uh, tambourine, cymbal, and whoops, piano. And like I said before, this is the last part of the game. We actually don't get the fuck out of my way. We don't get the uh, 23rd Budokai the final part of the Dragon Ball series, but... Again, I guess that's because Goku's pretty much an adult there. And this is just the adventures of Kid Goku. And the 23rd Budokai really does... feel more like... it almost feels more like Z... than like Dragon Ball. So there's one area down forget if we get something good in here. No. And these guys are probably the most annoying uh, enemies you're going to face in these beat-em-up style levels. Just because they can actually block. But by this t point in the game you should be pretty well versed in uh, this type of combat, so you shouldn't have too much trouble with this area. Nice. There's still a full heal. And a turtle shell, very nice. Make this a lot easier. Come on down. Nice, still at full health. Although, unfortunately for the last paddle, battle with uh, Piccolo, we don't get to use our beat-em-up health bar, we get to use our tournament-style health bar. Which of course means, uh, like here we have, it goes red, orange, green, and blue. And our last battle, all we're gonna get is red and orange. Nice. A little bit of Swish LA chicken there. And no non Canadians will probably get that joke. Unless you watch Trailer Park Boys. Getting pretty close to the end. I think there's one more 
screen uh, after this area. Oh great, we have to wall jump. Oh, that went well actually. Sometimes I have trouble with that. Okay. Yes. Well, I didn't even need that, but... I guess it's the thought that counts. Uh, hell with you guys. I hope I can beat Demon King Piccolo in one go. I've done it before. I was actually pretty surprised that in this playthrough I beat Tien in one go. So I'm hoping to get lucky again. Come on. Quit blocking everything. Some more symbols, who in the show, uh, Yajirobe cooks and eats after cutting in half with his sword. Pretty brutal. Come here, you fucker. Little bastards. These big bastards, too. Ah, stop blocking everything. Yeah, I think this is the last uh, enemy rush before Piccolo. Nice, that was cool. Hit the flying one with the uh, extending power pole. Give you one of these. All right, here we go. And you actually get a new uh, special move just for this battle, which hopefully I'll be able to use. Now, like Tien, you want to go low. And yes, Shit, he broke me. He has a white health bar. So for him, it goes red, orange, green, blue, white. Which is insane. Shit, I forgot to try and use the special move there next time. Nice, broke him again. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know why that didn't work. I think maybe you actually have to have full energy. Ah, shit. No, come on. Yeah. Yes, that's what you want to do. Nice, got him some more in the air. Yes, good. Nice. No shit yet. Crap. Good. Sorry if I'm getting quiet here, guys. I actually feel like I have to focus on this. Should have tried for the special there. Next time. Okay. Oh, missed him. Oh no. Come on. Shit. He got me that time. No. Get up. Okay, good. Crap. No, come on, let my bar refill. 
Yes. Yes. Get up. Nice. Shit. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Up. Yeah. Oh no! Shit. No! You fucker. You fucker. Yeah? Oh, come on! Yes, got him. No! Yeah! Fucking right, guys. Oh, that was a fairy tale ending. This can't be happening, putting all he has into this fist. Using the power of Ozaru. Right through the fucking chest. And then he, of course, spits out the egg. If they'll show that. Oh, they don't actually. But he spits out the egg that creates the piccolo that we know and love from DBZ. So Goku restores the dragon as Krillin, Master Roshi, everyone else brought back to life. His adventures continue, but that's a story for another time. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. If you've been a fan of the Neon Nightcast channel, you'll know that there are three of us in this channel. Uh, we upload at least one part of a Let's Play every single day. Uh, I do solos, the other guys will sometimes do solos. We also do sometimes two of us, three of us. You're always guaranteed at least one upload of a Let's Play a day. We also have the Neon Nightcast podcast, a weekly podcast on everything pop culture. If you enjoyed this, take a look at our other content, hit that like button, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.